Hi, this is Optimization Techniques, Part 3, part of the Computational Chemistry course at the Department of Chemistry. We have seen the features of a potential energy surface and we would like now to analyze its stationary points. This is usually done by evaluating the Hessian and this Hessian, the, uh, the eigenvectors are usually called the normal modes of a molecular structure. When uh, this evaluation is done in Cartesian coordinates, the Hessian presents six redundant modes. They correspond to three space, tra space translations and three space rotations. These movements are then not changing the electronic potential energy of a molecule. And they are often general, the eigenvalues of these modes are zero or very close to. This means that, for example, for asymptotes or inflection points that have they have uh, zero curvature along one direction, this adds up to have at least a total of seven eigenvalues equal to zero. Usually, molecule has three n minus six normal modes, uh, or also called internal coordinates, where n is the number of uh, its atoms. In case of a linear molecule, one has 3n minus 5 normal modes, since this molecule is symmetric respect to the rotation around one of the axes. This is, for example, the case of uh, the hydrogen cyanide here on the right that has uh, four modes, while the normal methane has uh, norm nine uh, internal coordinates or normal modes. The eigenvalues of the Hessian matrix are also called force constant, uh, indicated here as Ki. This, this is because they regulate uh, the vibration of a, of a molecule, like uh, a spring, and the associated frequency of this vibration, Ni, I, is uh, given by the, uh, this equation, where mu is the reduced mass of the molecule. Usually, the Hessian matrix is nevertheless evaluating mass-weighted coordinates. In this case, the eigenvectors are called vibrational modes, and the eigenvalues, indicated as epsilon i, are used to directly to compute the knee i frequencies with the, this equation. Here, we see the vibrational modes computed for uh, the water molecule. We have three different modes, bending, stretching, and stretching, and we can see also the, these modes represented as uh, vectors. If this analysis was not made in uh, mass-weighted coordinates, the heavy oxygen and the light hydrogen would move the same, uh, the same way, the same amount, while instead we can see that, more logically, hydrogens move much more than uh, oxygens. For transition states, we know now that we have one negative eigenvalue. The associated frequencies, frequency is then imaginary, even if usually in a program outputs, outputs is indicated as a negative, simply a negative value. Um, here we see the butane and uh, the transition state for its rotation around the central bond. The eigenvector associated with the, this negative eigenvalue is called the transition vector, and this represents the vibration mode out of the transition state itself. Here we see the transition state in a projection, and we can see that the vector points from one valley to the other. 